Wasabi, all you beautiful looking motherfucking bodies. Jackson here. I didn't know if I should do that one. I <laughs> ran it through my head and it sounded all right. So I said, fuck it, lead with it, go with it. It feels good. Anyway, guys, today I want to talk about Angry Joe and what has been going on with his channel and all that. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, a little controversy just recently cropped up amongst him and his viewers, which I was one. And honestly, I just want to say at the, the onset of this video that I truly believe Angry Joe has been a positive force for gaming overall. I feel that he has constantly done and said the right thing and been on the right side of a lot of these moves. And even though it's happened anyway, he's always been the one to be like, look, this is getting out of control. This is getting unnecessary. This is, you know, he's always kind of been the, one of those guys. And that's why I subbed him. That's why when I found his channel, I subscribed to him and I was happy with it. And honestly, I had no problem with the other videos he was doing. I'm not watching them. I think they're really, really bad and lazy and haphazard. And just like he has people on there that I, I don't care about. And I mean, and I'm not even talking about Delrith and shit when he's talking about games. I actually like Delrith when he's talking about games. But none of those guys... I don't give a shit about any of their opinion when it comes to movies. I'm sorry, I just don't. If I'm gonna watch a fucking review, movie review, I'm gonna go to like YMS, you know, IHE, fucking Ralph. There's the history buffs. There's so many people that do like the work and put in the time to their movie reviews like Joe did with his game reviews, okay? And he does, like I'm sure he's still going to do them. I'm just saying that there are people who do that that I'm going to for that sort of entertainment. So I see Joe uploading trailer reactions. I don't give a fuck what his opinion is on the latest trailer of a movie. I don't care. I think trailer reactions are stupid. Kevin Smith uploads trailer reactions and I hate them. I don't watch them, right? I don't down click them, I don't up click them, I just don't click on them, because it's stupid to me. Does it mean I don't like Kevin Smith? Does it mean I'm gonna unsubscribe from Kevin Smith because I'm not at that point gonna like anything he does? No, it means I don't have a particular taste for one of his upload activities, right? So I'm not going to watch that activity. I'm letting my vote count by not watching, not viewing, you know what I mean? Not giving him the, the revenue because, I, I, and that's my, my my prerogative. That's how I can make effective change. That way, if more people feel like I do with these trailer reactions and that they're stupid, then more, less people will watch them, less people will do them, they'll disappear off the face of YouTube, right? So that's how I do it. So when Joe does that, I don't watch it. When Joe does a movie review, I don't watch it. I don't watch part one, I don't watch part two, okay? Now, understand that I do understand what he's doing when he's doing this because it's so easy to kind of sit you and your friends down in front of a green, green screen, do a quick 20 minute video, another 20 minute video where you say the same shit, only now you're using spoilers, because I have watched a couple of these, just in the beginning, and I just, I, they seem wildly unnecessary, they just go on and on for days about shit that doesn't matter, and it, they reiterate the same points again and again, whatever, it doesn't matter, I just, like I said, I don't click on them. So that said, I just wanted to say that that's why I was subscribed to Joe. It wasn't for all these other videos, it was for the angry reviews and where he stands on games where he's very pro-consumer, pro-gamer, in my opinion, in many of his views and reviews and standpoints on game. Okay? I feel like that's who Joe is, that's why I subbed him. Okay? Now something happened recently that made me unsubscribe him, and it wasn't that he made a video saying you know, here's a schedule for what we're doing. We're promising you X amount of reviews, blah, 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 blah. I didn't even watch it. I didn't care. When Joe uploads an angry review or when Joe uploads something about a game, a let's play or something like that, I'll watch it because I'm interested when I see it in the upload feed. When he's uploading movie reviews, I don't watch them, okay? So I don't go out of my way to be a dick because a lot of these people are dicks. Don't get it twisted. I'm sure there's a lot of stupid little hateful bastards that are fucking posting shit on his channel. Okay, so what Joe has done since he did this, he made this video, a lot of people, where the fuck are they? Where the fuck are they? Where the fuck are they? And this gets to the point where Joe is just so annoyed that now his last like four, he's did a whole video on it after he blocked comments and likes and dislikes on a video. He does a video where he says, look, I'm sorry I did the schedule, but we're doing this, you know, and he kind of explains himself. He doesn't need to explain himself. Okay, 
We all understand that it's easier to do these or these than it is to do the big production on the game reviews, okay? It's easier for him and five of his friends to sit down and bullshit for an hour than it is for him to spend 20 plus hours on a review, right? All said, all the people involved. This is just, it's common fucking sense, okay? It's common fucking sense. He's probably making about the same amount off of the sheer volume of these that he's producing as he would doing, you know, working 20 hours on that. This way he can fuck off, live his life, fucking go watch a movie, fucking, sometimes for free, I'm sure, because I'm sure some people are sending him free tickets to these movies. I'm sure, I remember he said something about he got comp tickets to the Batman vs. Superman from Dr. Pepper or some shit, you know, and he was sitting there with his fuck, whatever, dude, I don't care. He can live his life, he can do what he wants, okay? But this is where I personally have the problem and I have to unsub Joe. When you have all of your videos, coming out and you're disabling comments and you're disabling up clicks and down clicks i'm sorry you're a pussy you're a pussy i'm sorry i i and i can say that definitively because i have videos that express unpopular opinions right i mean you're talking to one of the few people who has the balls to talk shit on overwatch all right the balls the audacity to say that this fucking game of the year shouldn't be game of the year because it's an online only multiplayer game that you have to pay playstation plus money you have to pay fucking xbox live money you you know and on the pc whatever okay i don't care i'm just saying the vast majority of players on the overwatch console i'm just saying this sort of game that is delivered constantly by other companies for free shouldn't be game of the year and i get attacked all the time for that i get attacked all the time for my you know opinions on destiny less and less now now it's just like i mean i still get insults and they're cute whatever but it's just it's less and less because i think people are actually waking up to what destiny is now that destiny 2 has been revealed to be destiny 1.1.5 1. anyway moving past that all i'm saying is i get i get plenty of shit, guys i'm not saying it to complain i'm not saying it to get sympathy because i don't fucking need any because it's just some stupid idiots on the fucking internet, probably children, probably in their fucking early adolescence, right? And if not, they're just big, stupid adult children. We all know those fucking type of people. Just dumb, dumb people, right? And that's the point. I'm able to deal with them because I understand what they are, okay? Why isn't Joe? Why isn't this guy who's able to make fuck who knows how much money off ad revenue who knows how much like free shit he gets just because of that sub count how many free review copies he gets all this shit just here you go here you go here you go joe here you go how is this fucking man unable to handle his viewers bitching about something that he created in the first place right if he wants to do these kind of videos just come out and say it like this is what i'm going to be doing if you don't like that, I'm sorry. You know, I hate to lose you as a subscriber. I hate to lose you as a viewer. But this is what I want to do. Joe, the people who are there to support you, who have your back because you've had our back, will still support you. And fuck all the whiny, crying, hating little fucking bitches. Fuck them. Why do you care? It's, it's, it's one of those situations where I didn't even want to make a video on this because I always told myself in the beginning, I wasn't going to be that fucking guy that just chased the trending page, right? I wasn't going to be that guy who fucking like just jerked off over hot topics all day. I didn't want to be that guy, but this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is the very definition of a fucking baby needing his safe space. How hard is it for... How hard is it for you just to not look at the comments, Joe? Fuck, you got enough money? Have one of you, have one of the people who literally work for you because you're paying them go through the comments and delete all the fucking ones that cross the line. But no, instead, instead, you say to your million, two million, I don't even know where you're at right now, Joe. You say to all of those people, people like me, who have had your back, who would have stayed there through all of this lazy bullshit that you're clearly doing just to get a check, right? This is like some Tyrese fucking shit. Paycheck, 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 right? That's what it is, Joe, and I didn't care. I understood it. 
I fucking accepted it, and sometimes I liked a couple of them. You know, I checked some of them out. Sometimes I liked a couple of them. You telling me, fuck you, you don't get out of a voice. You don't get a fucking comment on this. Ha ha, what you said at X amount of time was funny. Or ha ha, this shit cracked me up. Good video, Joe. No, fuck you. You don't get a fucking talk. Because there's fucking 5% of my viewer base right now. And a bunch of other trolls on the internet who are talking shit. And I can't take it anymore. It's just so hard sitting here talking about fucking movies and getting paid fucking thousands of dollars. It's so fucking hard. I can't handle any criticism. Meanwhile, channels like mine, mid, I'm like not even, I'm fucking like bottom barrel, right? I'm bottom fucking barrel on YouTube, okay? Up to mid tier channels have it all the time. Get slammed all the time. Massive fucking hate all the time. Not a single one of those people. Not a single one of us. Disable comments, Joe. Not a single one of us. You know who disables comment or comments? I was, I was about to say communist. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. You know who disables comments? Well, fuck, a communist would. But either way, fascist would. Basically, people who don't want to hear anything about anyone else's worldview. Closed-minded. Like, just why do you care? Why do you care? Is, is it really that hard, you know, to be called an asshole or a fucking bitch or, you know, you're not doing the... I think it's because there are people who are honestly being like, look, Joe, this is unnecessary. Like, we want this, you know. We're here to stay. We're here to support you. But you got to give us something, too, every now and then, you know. And that's, that's, that's my two cents on Angry Joe. Like, I'm sorry. I had to unsub. I had to unsub you, Joe. If you're watching this, I doubt you'll ever fucking see this. You don't fucking care. But if you're watching this, I'm sorry, man. But I, I can't support someone who's willing to tell the majority of his fan base to shut the fuck up because a tiny pocket of people are giving him some unnecessary bullshit and hate. All right? Do not be a coward. Live with the fucking... Like, live with it, dude. Live with it. Give the people who want to support you the chance to support you. Don't silence everybody. Don't tell everyone to just shut up. Shut up. No comments allowed. No up, no down clicks or up clicks. I'm not showing those either. I'm just here to collect a paycheck. Get free shit. And then cry about it. <laughs> I love you guys. Hey, sorry. I can get got a little negative there. I'm sorry. I really, but I like I said on the onset, I really want to express my gratitude for what Joe has done and where he has been and where he has stood on so many key and important issues and where he has shown the truth, like with Destiny and things like that, where he's like expressing what's happening with the corporate commander and all of this bullshit. All right. I really do know that Joe is an awesome guy who cares about his fan base, who cares about the viewers. I do know that. He cares about the gamers. I know that. Alright? I just think, honestly, that he can't handle the truth being told to him by his viewers. People who he... I think that's where it hurts the most is because I, I, it's just there's too much truth in there. There's too much truth about it just being a paycheck. There's too much truth about it being easier than the production of an angry review, angry review. You know, there's too much truth in it. Like, you know, I, I, I wouldn't even mind if he did like micro reviews still, you know, just talk about some fucking games every now and then, Joe, I don't care what you think about fucking movie trailers. All right. I don't care what you think about TV shows. I don't care what you think about movies. All right. I don't, I don't want to watch that shit. And I still would have stayed. I still would have stayed. And I, I would have stayed quiet. I would have not said a word. I haven't commented on any of these things talking shit, Joe. I haven't. I haven't. I just... I, I just... I really can't support you anymore if you're willing to tell people that they're not allowed a voice on your channel anymore. That seems cowardly to me. Seems cowardly to me. Especially me, man. Especially me. Seems cowardly to a lot of people, I'm sure, who have to deal with this all the time. And you're just from, I mean, it's your last, like, four or five uploads. You're just completely silent. 
no comments allowed. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. That's my rant, my stoned ramble. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter. I'm going to fucking plug myself here because I never do it, and I know I need to, but I always feel weird about it, so I'm just going to fucking awkwardly stumble through this, and I hope you guys forgive me in the end. Just do me a favor. Follow me on Twitch. You know, I'm going to be streaming there all the time now. I'm not going to be streaming to YouTube anymore. Check me out on Twitch, you know, and check me out on Twitter. You know, I'm on there. I'm talking shit. I'm sharing videos. I'm doing all sorts of shit on there. Check me out. Tweet at me. I'll tweet at you back. I'm not some fucking, like, you know brilliant fucking bubble genius who has no you know time to talk to fucking people at all and you're just gonna keep everyone quiet and under the radar no i'll talk to you i'll tweet you back so hit me up let me know what's going on that's the fucking end of my plug <laughs> it was just as fucking awkward as i knew it would be fucking love you guys take care until next time keep kicking ass stay awesome stay safe and above all remember guys stay fucking smart